Buenas tardes. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. And uh, maybe it's not good evening. Good, it's not evening in your time zone now when you're watching this video. But anyway, we wish you very much, uh, very welcome to this webinar: How to uh, achieve more with less effort. Yes, and only in five steps. How is that possible? Yes, 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 yes. Um, we shoot for the stars. And even if we reach the moon, <laughs> we do amazing things. And yeah. that's what this is all about. Doing amazing things, achieving things in a very practical way, using quantum physics, which is very complicated if you dive deep in it. But we make it practical. Yes, practical tips today. And maybe before we start, a little introduction about uh, ourselves. I'm Briani, I'm an international entrepreneur. I'm also an author, singer, songwriter. I create and develop new educational methods. And um, yeah, I like everything that has to do with innovation in education and business. And of course I train entrepreneurs and um, people in quantum thinking in uh, seeing unlimited possibilities around them and how to focus in them and create them quicker and yes. accelerate them. And that is marvelous to do. So mm -hmm. it's exciting. And um, my heartbeat always goes a bit faster when I, um, I guide groups and I'm working and uh, learning myself also in uh, deepening my knowledge and, uh, and the practical experiences using uh, techniques uh, like quantum in, uh, in business. Mm -hmm. So I myself, I have a background in uh, uh, agriculture university I then worked in uh, several companies for uh, many years. Um, I was a general manager for 10 years. And from... I have a slide for you. Oh, yes. right. Very good. And from those experiences, I really learned um, how in all possibilities that you have, you need to select the, the elements that really bring you the next step and bring you the results that are required uh, for meaningful business and impactful business. Later on, I, uh, I started my own companies and uh, I love building potential. So uh, what you see here is, um, is um, uh, all, all the logos of uh, companies that I've worked with in the, in the years that I've been uh, building potential, strengthening natural talents of people, teams and organizations in order that they can really have impact in the world with that, what they do best and where they live their essence, their purpose in life. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I will give a little summary about what we explained uh, yes, um, last week in the last webinar we did. And this was about burnout and like one on six employees um, has a problem with burnout and also relapsing is a very big problem and it costs of course a lot to have people in burnout so yeah what's what can we do about it and um, and also we addressed it's more important to prevent burnout rather than to heal burnout yeah so um, um, in essence it also has to do with being out of your strengths and doing too long, too many things uh, in order to achieve what you believe is necessary to be rewarded. Um, but in fact, if you do that too long uh, without using your natural strength, uh, burnout is, is a logical um, Yeah, result. you're actually this monkey who is swimming too long as a fish or this fish who is already too long trying to climb a tree. Absolutely. So what you are in essence and what your core is, your core passion, which um, yeah enriches you, that's important to discover. And that's also part of the steps, how to come to your burning desire. That's what really like makes you happy, makes you feel alive and, and gives you a reason to live. And where you become unstoppable. Yeah. And step one, so we have five steps 
yes. about we how to achieve... five steps. So yeah. five steps it will be. Yeah. And um, it's the first step is discover your dreams. Now, that's a very easy thing to say because, yeah, a lot of people are saying it. And, uh, yeah, you should find your dreams. But, yeah, you are, like rushing through your life and yeah what is your dream now there's a very good way of um, finding that dream that is to look at people you admire and look and sometimes also look at people you which irritates you that has mm -hmm. the same um, yeah they have the same quality of reflection it reflects something for you and maybe you want to explain uh, the admiring thing Okay, um, well, admiring is to see someone doing something that you either believe that you cannot do that, so that's why you reward it so much. But, well, in quantum physics, there is much more possible than you believe or you think is possible. And um, so one of the interesting things is that very often when you admire someone in doing something, as soon as you start to believe, so going beyond your ego, narrow mindedness, now as soon as you start to believe that it's also possible for you and you put effort in it and you model it and you uh, exercise with it, then very often you discover that it's possible for you as well. So that you no longer need to only follow or admire people, but that's in you, that it is in you. Uh, as much as it, as it is in the people that have already uh, skilled leadership. Yeah. 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 And, and often, um, yeah, you, you see, you could see, see it like this, that you see the dreams of yourself in the other. And, yeah. uh, and, and what Paul is saying it very nicely that you, yeah. Um, that the people around you are touching you in something which is already inside of you. And that is, yeah, that is so important to discover because it's like a, a little guideline, this little um, breadcrumbs, this yes, little sir. breadcrumbs for your journey to find yes. the, ra the right path. It's the the sparkings of the sparkings of your purpose. Um, it's your inner wisdom that already knows so much more than the narrow-minded ego brain does allow you to think. And that's the other part. Like if you um, if you irritate yourself in certain persons, so um, in fact, it also is a projection, a projection of something that is still holding you from being connected to your true self. So both ways, either the admiration or the irritation, can really lead you to being more and becoming more true to yourself. Yeah. But now let's in step one also give the people an exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So make a list of three people that you really admire and, and also write down why you admire them. Also make a list of three people that you really hate or think they are very irritant. And also write down why in your eyes or your opinion or your feelings they are so irritant. And it will provide you with some very important and crucial information where your ego is still holding you back in becoming more than you think you are. Yeah. So it's, it's holding you from potential growth. It's holding you from maybe even take time to dream what you really would like to do in life other than, you know, what you already do so far and and in in the left corner you um you can see the ego the ego for example it's a nice picture here ego can tell very logically well i need to earn money so of course i need to work it's eight hours a day at least you know maybe 10 maybe if you really think that you need to do much more than 10 hours a day then it will be 12 and Although it sounds very logical and although it sounds very rational uh, that you need to earn money, if you start to follow your dreams, you will learn that your being true, true to yourself, speaking your truth, will provide the most value that is in you in connection to 
what you do, what you offer, what you offer to the world, what you offer to your employer, uh, what you offer to the world. So that is at most value and that will bring you more income than when you stay, let's say, heavy blocked by your ego mm. um, because your ego makes you believe thousand little stories that sound very true in itself but are withholding you from your growth potential mm -hmm. and getting things done in an easier way than working hard and spending all your time, you know, in getting, getting the markets paid and all the things like that. Mm -hmm. And if you ask yourself the question, would you love it to be able to, you know, reach more and have more results with doing a bit less? Yes or no? Yeah, and f yeah, I, I can also like give an example from my life. I, I, um, I had also some people who I really admired who were doing great on stage and uh, performing, and uh, mm -hmm. and and then I see that yeah, it's if I admire it, it's part of me. So that means that I also have to do it, and it will be maybe never like a copy of what they are doing. It's not. It's not about becoming a copy. It's about because, because it's about being unique and then giving this uniqueness the the yeah the space to express itself mm -hmm. in a certain way. And and if you feel something resonating with somebody doing something else, then it shows that something in you also wants to move, wants to create something. Yeah. Now, so summarizing the first step. Take time to discover your true dreams. Yes. At the end, we have a test. <laughs> I hope I will pass it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the second uh, step is uh, me time for your dreams. Yeah, it's important to really take time to describe your dreams very uh, detailed and very profound what you want to reach in life. And you can do it in an artistic way with drawing, with painting, or you can do it with writing, with words, or it can be in a song or in a poetry. Everything is fine, but it, it, it's important that you, yeah, you um, enrich this energy and you give it like we, in, in beginning, we already had this nice picture of that, um, that uh, what you, where you focus on or where you put where you put your energy in that grows so it's important that you give food to your dream yeah so and and um what is important is as long as you believe that it's not possible so as long as you don't have clarity on your dream then you won't spend time with your dream you won't go into detail uh, with regards to how this dream would really look like, how this dream could feel. But as soon as you overcome what we showed in the first slide, if you overcome the barrier that you don't think it's possible and you start dreaming and you can feel that it's possible for you, then it's worth spending time with your dream, spending time in the feeling because it raises your frequency. And... Quantum thinking has a lot to do with raising your frequency. For example, love, gratitude um, are the highest frequencies that exist. In the higher frequency, the higher the frequency you have, the more important and the more meaningful the things are that will happen to you. And the more time you spend in those frequencies, the less you have to work and effort. So for example, if you give yourself free time to be engaged with your dream and be engaged in the feeling of living the dream, you raise your frequency and you raise the, the chances that it that things in order of getting your dream fulfilled will happen. Mm -hmm. These are words, but we are very sure that as soon as you have your first results, your first experiences, you know exactly how it feels. Mm. 
And the third one is surround you with uplifting persons and surround you with like-minded persons. It's not that they should have like totally the same ideas as you, but that's also why we create a quantum shift events because there are all people who are interested in quantum shifting, who are interested in expanding, who are interested in scaling up or interested in expressing more of what they have inside to the world. And, and if you, if you are, yeah, if you're in contact with this kind of persons, then it can it, it, it shifts you very quickly because every, they are all, they are, they are all giving little sparklers, which enriches your energy, which, uh, which um, giving, uh, yeah, which stimulates your field around you. And yeah, that gives like, like the first step already that gives you a feeling of stronger build, yeah, stronger magnetic field that you're building around you. That's literally what is happening. If you connect in a group with like-minded people, you raise the energy frequencies through the electromagnetic field and therefore your own learning and the group learning will be faster. Um, and what we hear a lot is people that um, have difficulties in normal life, in their normal, let's say, surroundings to handle some elements that they have experienced and consider, you know, that they, they consider to be special or, or rare or occasional. Um, but that they, that they can't share and um, connect it to the people that are surrounding them because those people do not have those experiences. They may be foolish them about having those experiences. And when they join the group of like-minded people like ours, they feel so relieved. They really say like, finally, I have people that understand what I'm going through, that understand my experiences, that even can inspire me or strengthen my learnings in these mm. experiences. And that is very, very useful um, uh, comments that we, that we hear from people that join the group. And uh, not only it's about learning, but also about manifesting. We have mm. extraordinary stories of people that only joined two, three months to the group. And that the group thinking, the inspiration, the questions that are being asked, really helps them to boost their businesses in extraordinary ways. Um, also this, this, these are just sharing examples of what we um, experience in our groups. But once you are part of the group and you have experiences like that yourself, um, then it becomes your truth. And that is important too. Yeah, I, I also have an, um, an um, example from my life. Like last year, I did a lot of travelings and I met so so many beautiful people. And I feel like it changes me just to... I'm still in contact with people all over the world, very interesting um, people who have very nice networks and they give a lot of new opportunities. And just by exchanging, communicating with them, it's like like my my project is building just by talking to them because I know I will with some I'm already collaborating with some others it's just still building the relationship and researching from how everything will fit in but the energy field is already building and energy field is already there and at the right time something will emerge and like concrete but before something is concrete you can already feel it building up and that's yeah. really, that's why it's so important to come together and to give each other this, nourish each other in this, um, yeah, this new way of thinking, this uh, paradigm shift. I have nothing to add <laughs> at this moment. Okay. Then we can go to step four. And uh, step four has everything to do with imagine your future self. So what is very important in um, in like quantum thinking is inspired on quantum physics and quantum physics says that every potential, yeah, everything is already a potential in the field. So every possible version of yourself, every possible outcome of yourself is a potential in the quantum field. So you being very successful or you being very like in your feeling a failure 
it, it's all there. It's all in potential present. It's just where do you focus on? Where do you, yeah, put your attention in, and which 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 you will create in the end. So the first thing is the, the most important part is not what do I want to reach. So that's part of it. So my context. The, so I want to have this and this, and I want to work like this and this. But the most important part is if I have in, envision this future potential for myself, who will I be? How will I react? How what, will I feel? How will I feel? That's very important. What will I radiate? How do I look like? And like this whole picture and this whole all these feelings about who you will be in the future, this is the most important part to feel in the now. Because this will create a future. And there is a very important pitfall. And the pitfall is that as long as you do that from your conscious ego, or maybe I should say the subconscious ego, um, then we see a lot of people, they want to have a million. Or they want to have a very, very big international company. And why, if you dig deeper to why they want to have a million is that they are worried about having enough money. So the worry about having enough money or not having enough money is a sabotage mechanism in the total possibility of manifestation. So when you build your future self um, based upon fears of the ego, it will not work. Well, it will work. It will manifest because fears are driving what you manifest. And it's for that reason that it's very, very important that you uh, unload your fears, that you uh, discharge, it's maybe a better English word, you discharge your fears, and that you get connected to your true inner wisdom. And from your true inner wisdom, you start to get connected to your future self. And that connection is a, is a pure connection. And, and that pure connection has a very high frequency and that frequency is possible to enable you to really experience um, uh, results that are in line with your true self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is a difference, for example, what, what I've seen many people doing is that they do intentions or that they do affirmations or that they do a mood board. All these methods are very, very powerful and useful under the condition that they are pure. So that you have decharged de the ego sabotage mechanisms. And when you then use these methods, they will be accelerating your manifestation in the here and now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is what Paul, what Paul is saying is already giving some little sparkles about the next step because mm -hmm. the next step step five has all to do with challenges and your ego is of course a very important challenge and if you want to step into a, yeah a new creation then yeah you will be challenged because you don't grow without challenges and you don't become stronger when it, like if if you do power fitness yeah, it's by build your you're building your muscles just by doing a lot of exercises, of course. So and and you become powerful inside if sometimes there are a lot of challenges around you and everything likes sometimes you only you really have also these moments that it looks like everything is falling apart and and then you have to feel in yourself and believe in your true power. And if you can then go to this true power inside of you and stay with it and keep convinced about uh, that what you really feel inside will be at a certain moment experience in life, then you build this, this inner strength, which is not dependent on the environment around you. Because it's easy when everything goes easy. And then, then, but but it should not be like what you feel inside should not be dependent on the world or about on the world around you. It should be like something strong, which is stable and in every moment can stay there. 
because you are connected with your core essence. And these are the reasons why we have all sometimes these big problems. And, and of course, if you work on your future self and this future self is really a huge step forward, then you will have big challenges, of course, because you have to grow very much in strength. And uh, of course, you have in the computer games kits for that. <laughs> you can have certain tools to uh, conquer your enemies. But in real life, it's a little bit the same. It's uh, And this kit, we're helping you with this, building this kit, and maybe you can explain what this kit is about. Well, first of all, let me add some of the things. Because when we follow the journey of the soul, and I won't go into detail now, you know, for many people, soul is a very difficult uh, expression. But it is about the calling. Yeah, you were mentioning if you feel inside, no matter what is happening in the environment, but this is what I have to do, then you're connected to the true self. And the challenges very often are about what will the people say if I do this? What will the people say if I try to learn to walk, but if I fall down? Well, did you ever see how many times a child who is trying to learn to walk is falling, but with the inner calling, getting up again, again and again and again, mm -hmm. as long as they can walk. And from the moment that they can walk, they will continue experiencing and experimenting with walking. And at a certain moment, they will be able to run. And then they will be able to run faster. And then at a certain moment, if they have goals and objectives in, in running, they will be maybe even capable of running, um, you know, the, the 100 meters below the 10 seconds. Yeah? This is what you need to do as well. But as, at the moment that we are adults, we have a lot of obligations, we feel responsible for certain situations, we very often don't dare to challenge our comfort zones. We don't dare to follow our inner call. And this is where the challenges are about as well, that you stay put, that you stay in your comfort zone, not taking the courage to bring yourself to the next level. And this is the reason why we have a approach that will really guide you and help you in making the next steps, getting out of your comfort zone and expanding yourself in what you know about yourself, what you think about yourself, what you think is possible, what you think is real, and what you think you're capable of. And don't we agree? Or are you in line with the fact that if you do something that was really an effort, but not an effort in, in, in the way that you, know, you only have to uh, how do you say, sacrifice yourself all the time? No, you can enjoy doing what you're doing. For example, climbing the Mount Everest, which at this moment might not be the best idea, but when you reach the, the top and it was worth the effort and along you know, the journey, you enjoyed doing what you were doing because it's an inner calling, then you, know, you really challenge yourself in the right way rather than sacrificing yourself and your time. Then you um, introduced me for... Uh, kit. Yeah, take, the toolkit. Taking a little <laughs> bit uh, more uh, explanation on the toolkit. Well, the toolkit is, is basically is also five steps. First of all, and maybe um, we, sh sh you know, we will show it a little bit later. First of all, you need to be very clear on what are your sabotage mechanisms? What are your natural strengths? What is the um, developable potential in you? And what is your calling? That's the first step in the toolkit. And the second step is the moment you know more about your sabotage mechanisms, your blockers, your success blockers, and your natural potential and your natural strength. How do you get from knowing how it is to being there? And for that, we have some very, very effective methods that are very innovative. 
um, widely used, however, in therapy, in PTSS uh, syndrome, in uh, business, but not very known already to the, let's say, the, the late majority. So introducing that also based upon the quantum field is very powerful in getting people from knowing to doing or being. Then thirdly is, and I think we can show a slide on that, is when you have clarity on who you are, how do you express yourself? So what is your story? What is your authentic story? Which slide were you? I was just thinking to... of, you know, going through some slides of, um, we'll go, uh, we'll yeah. have a look. and, and I, I just keep, keep telling a little bit on, on, um, no, it was, a... yeah. So this is the horse story. So this is, you know, horses and, uh, in the, in the webinar two weeks ago, we, uh, we took a little bit more time on this, but horses have the very, very natural power and wisdom to know exactly where you are at your best and where you leak energy. So where being or spending time on areas which are not your natural or your authentic self um, is causing leakage in your energy. And, and horses not only can show you um, where these leakages are and what the background is even from those leakages, but also they can help you becoming more powerful in who you truly are. Okay. I, I have to look at the time. So we have a few minutes and we have to um, Perfect. So say let, let us continue so, then. Yeah. Um, when you know your authentic story, then you have to uh, have a good strategy, bringing it to the world. And then you also need your target groups. You need your audience um, that really will benefit from your special gift to the world. This brings us to the combination of people that come together in the uh, quantum shift in leadership event on March 14th in here in, in Vreeland. In the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. And it's also accessible by live stream, so you can also buy a ticket, which, uh, which wherever you are uh, over the world, you can attend uh, our event. And yes. there will be a lot of lovely people who are all very interested in quantum shift thinking and making a change and impact in the world. And of course, we have um, very inspiring trainers <laughs> two of them you are already hearing now and we have also vincent who is um and he who is a uh, consultant for very big international companies uh, at board level where he uh, helps them with strategic man management and he is he can talk so nicely about authentic leadership and how to put more strategy in your organization. And even if you don't have a known, own, if you don't own a business, then still what he's telling is really like this basic values in life. So how you apply them to, um, to your everyday life and to your business, of course. Then we have, um, Miranda, she's an expert, a financial expert, and also uh, really into everything what has to do with freedom and uh, living your dream. That's why she is also organizing our retreats to Bali and uh, to Sardinia, which is coming in Italy. Winston, he's a public speaking architect, and Hank, he uh, is, uh, yeah, he's an expert in branding, and we all together will guide you to a journey and it will be a very journey where you really can experience experience what it means to make a paradigm shift in yourself and then in your life because one thing is to hear all those information but then it's still in your head but you have to is feel it and experience it in every cell of your body and that's why you need to be there and or online or uh, live or online but then you can feel and make together with us this journey from um yeah and and making more possible in your life well 
this is the offer that we can make to you today. Uh, you can either follow the live stream. So that's for all our international guests who won't be able to fly over and come to the, uh, to the, 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 the local uh, uh, event here in, in Vreeland. Um, and then secondly, we have, of course, the people that attend um, the day here live. And also we have um, the day in combination with uh, an evening, which really is dedicated to uh, some master classes in the area of um, uh, strategy, in, in the area of branding, in the, in the area of uh, quantum journeys. So really also practical um, ways how to implement quantum thinking in your business, not only understanding what is possible, but also making it possible. And we have a 50 euro reduction until February 10th. If you click on the link, go to the website. Um, so this means that if you use the reduction and you buy a ticket before Monday, that you then have um, a ticket, a live stream ticket for, uh, do I say it right, 79 euro for uh, 199 euro uh, for if you if you want to attend live during the day, and if you also want to attend the um, the VIP session, then you can buy the ticket, the VIP ticket, uh, and that's um, two hundred ninety nine euro. If you um, use the reduction code, which is the code is shift, so yes. just use this code, and then um, you can buy your ticket and be there together with us. It will be a beautiful experience. So I really love to invite you. Yes, and for many people we hear that they don't think it's a lot of money. Uh, that's one of our purposes, to make sure that as many people um, that are interested are capable of joining the event, learning more about the wisdoms that we didn't uh, uh, learn on school mm -hmm. and that you really need to share in a community uh, in order to be able to grow and apply it to your own businesses. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching this webinar and uh, we'll see you next we'll see you next time. Absolutely. And we're very happy to share our knowledge and grow and contribute to the world. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye.